I switch my leg and come here. Sometimes you're just wrestling a guy and for whatever reason he has loose shoulders or maybe you don't have this bar as tight and you're afraid to, or you, you don't want to take the risk of running it and you feel like you're going to get rolled through. So if I feel like that, I feel like it's loose or he has like some flex with the shoulders, I'm not going to run it over his head. I'm going to run it back side. So what I do, I still stay on my toes, driving his face in. I'm going to take my, my free hand and grab his shoulder blade, his, his collarbone, right in between his shoulder and his neck. Right here, I'm going to straighten my arm. Now with my bar hand, I'm going to grab the crook of my own elbow, create kind of a lever. This whole time I'm going to be driving pressure on this shoulder and slowly from here I'm just going to walk my knees over. Walk my knees, walk my knees, start slipping this hand, sweep the head. Now from here, you know, I'll use my chin and pull. If you turn it into me, I'll swoop over the top. So you got two options. Once you get this bar nice and deep, and I slip my leg, when I'm straddle, I can either go sit all the way through and run it, one, two, or I can go back side. I get even more height, I grab my own, my own elbow right here, and my hand, this hand never moves. It stays like it's drive, driven right into the mat, and I just walk over this hand, sinking this deeper as we go. Same thing, and then I scoot. Everyone see that? Any questions? Get this bar here, come around this side. Slip this leg first, drive him forward. Now I'm in the middle, I'm gonna post, get height. Grab my own elbow, and slowly walk my knees. This hand doesn't move, it stays right there. And I run over here. Everyone got that? Last thing, give it a try. One, two.